and welcome guys hope you are doing great so in this Moodle tutorial for developer here I am here with a new video around the plugin creation in this video you will learn how to add db how to add db structure how to that means how to create a database table using your blog okay so let's start so i i am inside this block this video is continuation of the previous previous one so if you have not watched my previous video around this bl block creation i would suggest please go through that then we, you will have the clear understanding about this video okay so creating a table uh, you are processing with the database related stuff inside a block you have to create a db directory okay so i am inside this block list all courses let me create a directly called db okay so data related xml file will go here okay so how the xml file will come so xml db definition and xml structure so th this will follow a setup rule like on top of there will be a table then you will have the field then you will have the key then you will have the index so this three is going to be on the same index that means it will this will be in the parallel so inside fields again you can have multiple fields name inside key you you can have multiple keys and inside index you can have multiple index and of course for on this level you can have multiple table okay so in short if you talk about this structure so this will be more or like So we'll have the table table closing and if you you have to play with the multiple tables this will be like this okay then inside table you will have fields fields okay and you can have multiple fields then you can have key okay you can have here multiple keys keys one keys two you can say okay all will be inside all will be as in xml format okay you can see the nested here field key this then you can have index Okay, you can have multiple index here. So let's check this and this is around one table. You can have multiple table like this. Okay, one, two, three, like this. And the file extension will be this will be the XML file dot XML. Okay, so let's start. So I am not going to create here the fresh one. Let me search inside the blog and the file name will be install.html search for if i am getting any oh yeah i am getting here so let's open this one itself so you can see here uh, the db install.xml inside recent access item recently access item block so copy this one and take it to your block list all courses db then here okay so open in editor so as i told you you will have so above table you will have the tables okay on top of it since this is xml file there is a set of rule to write so this one is the predefined then you will have xml db okay and the closing of it 
clear let's repeat then as i told you you will have tables then inside tables you will have fields then you will have keys then you will have indexes so if indexes is not there this will go simply this will go okay that means it, it will not appear then if you will have the second table same here same view you can paste here okay so for now continue with the single table only so this one is the table and you can see the name here this is the table name and this comment what is comment so at the time of creating a table you might have seen um, the comment comes with the table name so this is comment and not a required one okay then you will have field inside field as i told you you will have multiple field field one field two field three okay so field name then the type data type then the length of that uh, not null sequence true or false value not null also will be true and false and you can also add comment here okay so ideally sequence means auto increment so sequence basically only on a single field of any table okay so id you can say this is sequence got it then you have keys and inside keys you have multiple key primary key id one itself then user id is a foreign key okay so for now delete this one all this required and change the table name to block underscore list all courses okay So here you can see and you can put the not the course name add the year ID already here put the time here time axis then user ID This is already here. So this is basically the three fields. I will have to maintain if we, if any user come to dashboard and load dashboard and this coming to their dashboard, the entry made to this table. That means whenever the block loaded to any learner, it gets loaded okay so i see one issue here the closing missing for keys closing this okay so this is nothing but it's all about how you deal with your xml okay this is xml file primary is id and the index is index I don't want the index for now okay so let's remove this but yeah if you want you can add index here like you can you can be like user id and time access okay this can be unique and here we will have to specify the field this is basically the name of your index and this one is the uh compose since this is a composite index you'll have to define all your fields here okay so i just explained to you but for now uh, not required so i am removing this one got it
so hope you have clear understanding on how to create your xml file and from here you need to start okay so put the version name from your version dot psv file this one no if you want you can leave this let's leave it and change this name blocks make sure you are writing this one this is a path basically so please make sure you are spe specifying this correctly okay so block slash this so this is comment you can write anything but this path is should be correctly mentioned here okay okay if you want to check this version you can also check okay so let's go back to the file here and check here the version okay so this version is mentioned something but here it is mentioned different okay so that means there is no relation between your this version.psb and the version mentioned over here okay so nothing to to worry now you are ready with your xml file for table okay this one so this is a install dot xml So this the reflection of this will be happen at the time of installing your block not while updating your block okay so let's see after changing the version here let's change to one and try to refresh here if anything is coming come to dashboard click on logo And you see uh, something is coming for update click on continue okay it is asking for upgrade model database now you see the success here click on continue you can check from db uh, if your table has been created let me check from here it's coming so why it is not coming because it will come at the time of installing not at the time of updating okay so let's um, make a copy of this okay copy from here and put outside here and come inside plugin and inside plugin overview try uninstalling this plugin list all courses uninstall this click on continue continue again continue create model db that means your plugin has been installed you can see from here you will not see your 
list all courses now you are not seeing this one is the package zip file okay so directory has been removed so let's try to install again so for this i have a backup here copy this one to the block again paste here again click on the dashboard <coughs> Now click on continue. Click on upgrade model database now. Click on continue. So let's check for the table if it has been created or not in db if not that means something is missing but you can see here your table has been created now okay so you can match your description here from the xml file you have mentioned you have explained here the table name is this you have three fields id user id time access and all with the length of 10 you can see the sequence is true that means the auto increment and for other false we can also see the comment comment of table here okay you can see the comment of table but the comment of field is not coming okay so no issue you can see that list of list all course by a user okay so you can see here so this is how you have to create maintain and work around this xml file to get your db created at the time of installing that block okay so hope you have you guys have learned something thank you thank you for watching and please like and if you have any query please feel free to ask under your under the comment section of this video and if